Paramangu when I was in 10th grade, that was my first year. Um, I was just telling the law, I was very naive, I didn't know anything, but he was very patient with me and assisted me in so many ways. Um, 2004? Yeah, 2004. Um, he's been very, he's been an excellent um, contact person because we still keep in touch. I remember him writing me a letter of recommendation for college. Um, and I think, Um, but he's, he's a very uh, excellent man. I don't know if he prepared. I didn't even know he was coming today. But uh, our research was in melanoma cancer, and I presented at the Harlem Science Fair, and it was very engaging and educative for people who came and you know learn more about melanoma and things like that. So um, introducing the man, the legend, the myth, um, Dr. Taha Pagu. <laughs> Great pleasure for me to be here and to be presenting again to the students of the Harlem Children's Society. And I'm very proud to see that students has graduated from college. She was um, a student with us when she was in high school. I guess that makes me not eligible for the free lunch. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, and uh, I just want to say that Eunice is a great example because. She's one of the best students I think I had from the program. She did an excellent job when she was at the lab and in her first summer in the lab she was able to present a poster and I think it was one of the best posters at the street fair. Um, Today, in the short time I have, I'm going to try and tell you what we do in the lab um, and try to convey you a message uh, in terms of actually what we do, but different concepts, which I hope will be useful in the future for you. So um, if you have any questions during or after the talk, please don't hesitate to ask me questions. And um, let's start. So uh, today I'm going to tell you about uh, as she said, as Yumi said, uh, the work we have been doing on melanoma. Melanoma is a skin cancer, and uh, it's very deadly and dangerous. So we have we have been trying to develop two means to treat melanoma. One is uh, immunotherapy here, and the other one is what we call targeted therapy or small molecule therapy. And what we have, what I'm going to tell you today is how we would like to combine immunotherapies and small molecule therapies and I will also tell you why we want to do that. So why do we care about melanoma? Well there are a few things you need to know about melanoma. Melanoma is the highest uh, yearly increase in incidence. A lot of cancer decrease in incidence every year. Melanoma <coughs> does increase four to five percent every year. So we every year we have more and more melanoma and I'm going to illustrate this in another slide. Most patients are cured by early detection, so that's why it's very important to go see your dermatologist and have him examine your skin every year for suspicious molds in your skin. But um, when it's not detected early, then it can, it's one of the most dangerous cancers as shown here. And the biggest issue with uh, metastatic melanoma it's, is that it's resistant to all the known cures we have right now, which is chemotherapy and radiotherapy, which are used in cancer. So, um, as I said before, melanoma is uh, one cancer that has high increase every year. As an example here, in 1935, one every 1,500 person in the population would have melanoma. In 2000, one every 74 uh, person would have melanoma. So if you take for example, in this room, I'm sure we are more than 74. Um, there are more than 74 students, so one, at least one, will have melanoma. 
um, which is very bad. And um, the other thing is that um, survival associated with melanoma is very low and is dependent on the grade of the disease. And you see here that stage, here's stage one, which is with quite good prognosis, but if you go to stage three and stage four melanoma, the prognosis is very bad or not as good as after you know, a few months, seven to eight months, the patients will come to their disease. And just before going and explaining um, what are the cures which are available, I just want to let you know where melanoma is coming from. So in your skin, and this is a, a schematic of the skin, this is the epidermis, which is the outer layer of the skin. This is the dermis, which is the inner layer of the skin. And in this region, which is called the dermal epidermal junction, you have these cells here, which are called melanocytes. And what do we have, what melanocytes do? Is that in fact we provide something called melanin to cells here in the epidermis, which are called keratinocytes. So when you go to the beach and you expose your skin to the uh, sun, what happens is that these melanocytes here get active and they produce something called melanin and they give it to the keratinocyte here. See? So here is an example of a melanocyte that's giving melanin through melanosome to the keratinocyte here in the epidermis, and this is how you time. So somebody who has a dark skin or somebody who has a fair skin does not have a lower number of melanocytes, but they have melanocytes that produce more melanin, more pigment, okay, so that's why um, I have darker skin than somebody else. So everybody, whether you have fair skin or dark skin, is susceptible to melanoma because we all have the same number of melanocytes. And so melanoma is a multi-step process of uh, getting cancer, which is melanoma, is a multi-step process. And what happens first, so here is again the schematic of the skin. This is the epidermis, this is the dermis, this is the dermal epidermal junction. And so here you have a melanocyte. And what happens, you have a mutation or a change in your DNA, and it gives something that's called benign nevus. So the benign nevus is fine, it's benign, it's not dangerous, so just if it happens, then you can just remove it. But then it becomes this plastic, which means, this plastic means it's, it's cancer, actually. And so then you have other mutation events which are shown here, which will give what we call radial growth fields. So the melanocytes start dividing and invading some layer of the skin, and then you have the vertical growth phase, which is even worse, and then you accumulate more mutation events, and then you get what we call metastatic melanoma, so it goes to your brain, it goes to your lungs, it goes to the liver, and that's very deadly. Okay, so uh, this is how cancer in general happens, but it's more the case for melanoma. <coughs> So what are the therapies now to treat melanoma? So if you look at this slide here, um, we are in 2010. Everybody knows we are in 2010. But what's important here is that there are two forms of treatments which exist since 1970s. In the 1970s, we had the carbazine, which is a chemotherapy. And it only helped 10% of the patients. And in 1998, we had another patient another therapy, which is an immunotherapy, and it only helped 15% of the patients. But since then, we have no new treatment. So you see that almost 90% of the patients with melanoma have no treatment that works. This shows that it's very important to develop a new treatment for melanoma patients. And there are two kinds of new therapies which are not conventional. One is called targeted therapy or small molecule inhibitors and the other one is called immunotherapy. And so what I'm going to tell you about is the targeted therapies and the immunotherapies and why we should use one versus another or both or combine them. And so targeted therapies are the drugs that block the growth of cancer cells, okay? And they interfere with the mutation that's giving rise to melanoma. As I told you, melanoma is caused by genetic mutation in the cells. So these drugs will specifically block the mutation which is the driver of cancer. Okay, so you stop the growth of cancer. And 
This is called treatment of the tumor. And tumor therapy is a treatment which will treat your immune system. So we are not going to treat the tumor itself, but we are going to treat your immune system. And the immune system is going to go and kill your tumor cells. So we call that the treatment of the patient. So we target the therapy, we kill the tumor cells. With immunotherapy, we educate the immune system so that the immune system will in turn kill your tumor cells.